How's my mustache look? Mm. Looking good. Ooh, them curls though. What is up, creative world? Today's an extra special day because we're doing art with our intern. Hi. Hey, so Jennifer is actually my cousin and she's also in school for art, right? Yeah. Where do you go to school? University of New Haven. And what are you studying? Art. Art. Yes! Today's actually special because we were asked to paint these boxes. These are just regular plywood boxes and they're going to be used as outdoor seating once the springtime comes around. A neighborhood association reached out. They said they had these boxes and they wanted artists to paint them. So we got seven of these boxes. I'll be painting two. Some of the creatives in the lab will also be painting their own. And Jennifer asked to be a part of it. So we're going to paint boxes together. You ready? Mm-hmm. All right, let's get started. So the first step is to prime them. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. Jennifer has a bit of an idea of what she thinks she's going to do. Let's just prime it and see where it goes. So I just finished priming the boxes. Jennifer and I put one coat of spray paint on each box and then she put a coat of white acrylic on hers and it looked super crisp because her box is gonna be mostly white. And then I decided to do the same thing for one of my boxes. This is the first one I'm gonna paint. I have a little bit of an idea what I wanna do and it's gonna be kind of simple, but still really cool and vibrant. I'm gonna put all sorts of crazy colors all over it like I typically do because I love crazy colors all over the place. And then I'm gonna write do you boo boo on it like Duh. Each side is going to have one word. So do you boo boo. On the top of the box, there's going to be do you boo boo as well. So it's going to be pretty simple as far as the design goes, but it's going to be super colorful. And right now the thought is that I'm going to get all these bright colors and splatter all over it once I paint do you boo boo on top of it. Afterwards, I'm also going to pour some colorful epoxy on it, which is kind of cool. And I'm really excited for that. It's also cool because today, Jessica and Amir are both here working on their boxes, which is a surprise because I didn't know we we're gonna have this much energy at the lab this weekend, so I'm super excited. What's up, Jessica? My powers are infinite, they ain't physical, but they all fit in the sword of my penmanship. I give those who can't voice their opinions articulate reason to listen and feel the shit. I am Martin on top of the mountain, my words will echo through time without them. You what up, man? Yo, what up, we're gonna some boxes. Yes, sir. Getting your strokes in. Oh, yes, yeah, struggling it. Yeah. I'm here getting the daily strokes in today. All right. I don't hold them all white. Can't hold me up too quick. Can't hold me up too damn quick. Can't beat me, I'm too sick. Can't beat me, I'm too damn sick. Can't hold me, I'm too quick. Can't hold me, I'm too damn quick. And still, it feel like I tried out the limitless pill. And I can do anything within my will. I'm wildin', I'm wildin', I ain't sitting still until I'm sitting on top of a mill. Like ovens and saunas, I ain't got no chill. And if we get busted, I'm paying a bill. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm keeping it real. These niggas so gangsta till they see the steel. Pause. Woo! We're making progress. I finished my first box. Jennifer just finished her box and we'll show you that in a little bit But what I'm doing for my second box is a little bit different I took some cues from an artist called Matt Corrado. I'm very inspired by his work. He's an awesome dude So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a very colorful box with all of these ombre colors very colorful and colors like weaving in and out of each other and then we're gonna have like this these are gonna be these black streaks that move around the entire box and it goes to the top and then it goes over here and then it goes over there. And there's gonna be some like drippy marks everywhere. It's gonna be pretty cool. So the first step is to add some color. So we're going to spray paint um, the negative space right now. And then once that's done, we're gonna come back and do the outline and fill in the black. So let's get started. Yeah. 
the boxes are finally done. Throughout the entire process, I just kept like thinking to myself, oh my God, this is not gonna look good. This is not gonna look good. But to my surprise, as always, they came out dope. So let's just check them out. So I wanted this box to be more of a traditional box, doing my typical style with crazy paint splatters and overlaying bright colored paint strokes and obviously the do you boo boo. I think it came out really cool. I really like the way that the colors overlay and the way that the epoxy overlay the acrylic and creates different tones and in general the chaos of the entire box when you see it as a whole looks super bright super energetic and i think it puts out a really really dope vibe so in general i'm super excited and super happy the way it turned out and i couldn't been happier and here is the second box Now this box, I took a lot of inspiration from Matt Corrado. I've been following him for a while and I really love his style. I love how bright and how colorful all his art is and it's something that I've been inspired by a long time. I use some of the details that he uses and a little bit of the colors that he uses and I incorporate it into this box and I think it came out awesome. Now you might be asking, why are you copying other people? Well, I'm just trying to figure out my own style. So one box was completely my style, and then the other one was me trying something a little bit different and trying to practice different things. It is what it is, and I'm really happy how I came out. All right, it's the moment of truth. Let's check out Jennifer's box. At first, I didn't really know what I wanted to do exactly. But once I had the idea in my head, I immediately started designing things I wanted to put on it. I've always been really into line art. It's just something that I've been like working on lately. But for this particular box, I really wanted to like customize it and make it like really special. So each face on here like represents a different person. All right, creative world. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. We had a ton of fun hanging out making art together. Jennifer and I and the whole crew will definitely be doing more art together soon in the future. The special thing about this vlog is that we set out to make art together and we ended up making art with the entire team for a whole night and that was a really good time. So if you guys want to see everyone else's boxes, make sure you check out our gram to see their final box. If you enjoyed today's vlog, let us know, give us a like, make sure you subscribe to stay tuned to the madness and let us know in the comment down below which box was your favorite. And until next time, Never, Never stop, stop creating. creating.